Hey, what's up everyone? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to correct white balance in your footage. And this is gonna be a really simple and quick effect, but it's really important. Um, correcting white balance neutralizes the footage. By this, I mean that it'll make all the footage kind of come together and be at a neutral footing with one another. So when you apply a grade to all of them, you can expect them all to look relatively the same, and then you only need to make minor tweaks throughout it. Um, this might be if you're shooting throughout the day, uh, in the morning it's going to be cool and then midday it'll be warm and then when you start getting into like the evening it'll get really warm. So as you're shooting throughout the day and as you switch different cameras, as you, you know, go to different scenes, your footage might just look a little bit different. And so correcting the white balance will help bring it all back to the same so when you hit that grade you don't have to go through every single piece of footage and, you know, do major adjustments to it. So what is white balance? It is how white white is. And what I mean by this is white, since it is like the central color, um, it's the you know combination of all colors if you might, um, it can be easily influenced one way or another. So it can go into the um, tints, which are green and magenta, or it can go into the temperatures, which is blue and orange. And that just depends on how it was um, reacting in the scene. Uh, while shooting, a really smart thing to do is grab a white piece of paper and shoot it right before you start. Um, use your camera to adjust the white balance there, but even you can even do it in post if you just have a white piece of paper recorded before every shot. So enough talking about white balance, let's just see how we correct it. It's really, really simple. Um, and then the newer edition of Adobe Premiere has actually made it even simpler. So. We mainly work in the editing flow, um, that's where I mainly work. However, there's a bunch of other tabs up here that Adobe has created for us, and the one we wanna go to is color. So just go ahead and click on color right up here. Now this isn't essential for this. What it's gonna do is it's just going to automatically open up Lumetri color over here. So if you don't have this color tab up here, maybe you deleted it by accident, maybe you got running a little bit of a version behind or something, you can just go over here to editing, go down to effects, then go into video effects, color correction, and drag on Lumetri color to your footage. What's cool about this is that it's gonna be here and right when I touch a dial, it's automatically going to add Lumetri color to that footage, so watch. If I drag this way over here, make it extremely blue, go back to editing, and we have Lumetri color added to our footage right over here. So, once we are over here, what we wanna do is we want to just click this little eyedropper, and we want to find an area that is white, that is neutral in this footage. Um, it can be either be something that's purely white or something that's purely gray. Uh, white works better, but just find a neutral color. So I think the white in this scene is right here in the bottom. I think that in, that would be a natural light, uh, white in the the scene because it's not being affected by the shadow. The sun's kind of coming in and it's lighting it up what would be naturally. So I click it and you see it warmed it up a little bit and it removed just a little bit of the magenta into the scene. And as you can see, that's it. That's really this effect. That's how simple white balance fixing is. Um, you can do it manually. All it's doing is it's moving these two down here. So if you don't like it, if you think it needs to go somewhere else, you can just click on one of, whoops, click on one of these. And then if you use the arrow keys, you can go one point at a time. Um, and if you hold control while you do it, you can go even point one at a time. And this is great to just like sort of really dial it in. Uh, the fast way is to click on the white again. Um, realize that different whites in the scene are going to produce different results. So that is why I was recommending using a white sheet of paper so that it is always consistent throughout it. Something else to understand is a little feature right here. This is an average, which means that it's taking the average of the pixels in a square here and finding the white of those pixels. So, little pro tip, if you need a bigger average, hold down that control button and you'll see just really softly right there, look at that, it just gets a little bit bigger and that means the average is getting just a little bit bigger. So if I click it here, it'll take just a little bit more data in at that point and then it'll adjust accordingly. And that really does it on white balance. Um, you Basically that's the effect. Um, you kinda gotta play around, touch a different couple different areas to find out what you think the white, uh, what is best. Sometimes a blown out sky will actually be the best thing that you can choose. Um, so if I choose it here, I'm, looks actually it thinks that that's zero straight up. So sometimes it isn't. But yeah, play around with it, um, adjust these over here, and it can help a lot in shooting if you bring something white to edit with. 
Thanks everyone for that quick tutorial on how to adjust white balance in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, really helpful tip, really good in neutralizing your footage so that later on when you color grade, it'll make things easier. Thanks everyone for watching. Remember to, sub to subscribe for more videos like this and Adobe related content. And until next time guys, see ya.